This time we're gonna haul a 793 fully assembled. So box on, tires on, and the best part is, we're gonna send it down the highway. So stay tuned to see how NCSG is gonna haul a 793 from Finning Mildred Lake out to Fort Hills Mine, uh, just north of here. So this is NCSG's Goldhofer 18 line trailer. So this trailer gets split in two and they add a rail section in between so that they can haul these trucks fully dressed with the inner duals on. But that trailer will squat down. So right now it's squatted down, they've got it separated so the push truck has taken the back of the trailer apart. They brought the truck in, drove it in over the rail section, now they're going to bring it back together and then they'll actually brace the truck underneath and lift it up. So it's pretty rare to see these big haul trucks hauled fully dressed like this, but in Northern Alberta, Fort McMurray, it's all too common. This is NCSG's prime mover. So we got two trucks on this load. We've got the one truck out front. We've also got a push truck in the rear. This is a Kenworth, may I add, a Kenworth C500. Under the hood is a Cummins 605 diesel. We've got an Allison transmission behind it with a four-speed auxiliary. And we've got a Sisu rear axle with 7.01 to one gearing. So it needs all this horsepower and the push truck to haul that truck down the highway. Anything bigger than a 793, so once you get it in the 797s, they have to take off the box and the inner duals because they're just too wide and too heavy to haul. But 793s and below, you can pretty much haul fully assembled. So it's always a good show when NCSG hauls one of these down the highway. As it sits, 793 
fully assembled like this, you're looking at 160,000 kilograms or if you prefer pounds, 352,000 pounds roughly. First, they split the trailer, drove it up on these wood blocks over the rail section, connected the trailer. They've blocked it up underneath, under the frame, and then they lift the actual trailer up to bring the tr whole truck up. And then they'll chain it down and it's on the highway. But this is a real fine example of the Goldhofer trailer, how it can both raise and lower the truck and they can split it and use that rail section. We'll have a look at that. NCSG is one of the few carriers that does this. They split the trailer and put a rail section here so they can leave the inner duels. So that saves cost and time when moving these trucks because between all the mine sites up here, these trucks move very often, especially for contractors. And even the mines move equipment back and forth quite often. But allowing this truck to be hauled fully assembled is really key to efficiently moving these trucks between sites based on mine plans, stripping, that sort of thing, production. So that rail section allows the inner duel to stay on. And it's one of the key reasons why NCSG gets to move a lot of these trucks is because one, they're really good at it. They have a really good talented crew of people and they have such a fine trailer. What's neat about these Goldhofer trailers is these rams in here allow the whole trailer to be raised and lowered. And all these axles actually steer. So as the trailer goes down the highway, if they're making a tight corner or something, they can actually steer with all these, these axles here, which is really unique. And just for those curious, we've seen with CMT and other haulers that the trucks are a lot cleaner, but these guys do a lot of off-road hauling, so trucks get dirty. Whereas CMT and the other folks are mainly on the highway, so trucks can stay a bit cleaner. So no, this isn't a reflection that they don't take care of their stuff. It's just a fact that they just drove here down this dusty road because it's very dry here in Fort McMurray and the trucks got a bit dirty. But NCSG runs a really tight crew, take really good care of their stuff. This is actually very fitting. The kind folks at NCSG has provided us with a swag. So Barnhart, one neat thing about NCSG is it was founded in 1987 as Northern Crane. And then when Northern Crane and Transtech merged, the name became NCSG. And a lot of people don't know that name actually stands for Northwest Capital Services Group. And now Northwest Capital Services Group is owned by Barnhart Crane out of Memphis, Tem Tennessee. So NCSG as a standalone, they employ about 400 people. They have eight different locations, all kind of spread about through BC, Alberta, through the uh, Western Canadian Energy Corridor, which is the market they serve. So oil and gas, they do craning, heavy haul, this kind of stuff here. But Barnhart acquired them and that just helped grow that Barnhart as a company because they're an American company. Now they have operations in Canada, they can better serve their customers, but the name still stands. Who knows how long those decals will be on that truck. But one of Fort McMurray's finest, NCSG. Good people and they always put on a hell of a show.
weekend here we saw NCSG move 793 back at the Fort Mackay yard here with heavy metal. They're moving one of heavy metal's D11s out, so they just brought a D11T in and they're taking one of the repaired ones back out. So this tractor's going back out, the one that just came back in will come in for repairs, whether that's undercarriage and track frames or full engine and transmission and torque. So maybe some welding on the blade, it kind of depends, each dozer varies, but usually it's coming in at least for undercarriage, depends on the engine, that sort of thing. But as you can see, we haul D11s fully dressed here in northern Alberta. This is kind of spontaneous here because we didn't know this was coming today, so I don't know the exact specs on the trailer, but I will tell you it can haul a D11 comfortably. What they did was they split the trailer in two, they walked the one dozer off, and they backed the other cat on, and they now joined the trailer again. Note the very cute little flags that indicate it's a large load or wide load, if you couldn't already tell because it's a massive D11.